Hey you, it is Tia back with another video. I am so excited for this video. I have been planning to make a Christmas cross tree for some years now. Before, um, I would Google Christmas cross tree, cross tree, and nothing came up. A few years ago, I started Googling it again and things started coming up that other people were thinking about cross. You know, uh, as a Christian, what represents us best is the cross, right? His death and resurrection. But I just wanted something different. And everyone started doing those upside down trees that's supposed to represent, um, I don't even know. I'll have to research before I start talking about that. Um, my, my aunt had actually purchased one and she had it and it's cool looking, but I was just like, mm, that's not my cup of tea. And then I was like, I really want to cross trees. But they were like three or four hundred dollars and it was only like one site that had it at one point. Well, this year I Googled same price. I did find one on sale 53% off and it was like a hundred and ten dollars. Um, but I said, you know what? This is something that I've been wanting for a while. Why not make it myself? So in this video, you'll see um, I had already had the L brackets and the base put on. I, I decided to video this after we already started putting this together. My husband, um, I gave him the materials and he actually put the base on for me, told him the idea, he did it perfectly. Um, I already had it cut down, everything to size at Home Depot when I purchased the, pro the items and the product that I needed. So everything was ready to go. Let's see it, let's check it out, I'm excited. The pain in the butt was when I had to chisel out the, um, the, I think it was like a two inch, two inch space or four inch space, two inch by four um, space to put the cross together so it could be flush. And I couldn't find my hammer so at one point in this video you're gonna see me using a bat, a metal bat. Listen, you gotta get creative when you don't have those tools or you can't find your stuff, you gotta figure out how you're gonna make it work. So I used the metal bat, I used my hand at one point like trying to shove it in there. So there are some areas in there that I would suggest you do. Make sure you have a hammer, make sure you have like a chisel. Um, if you have a saw, like a table saw, that's even better. I used um, garland, just regular green garland that you can buy from Hobby Lobby. They had the fancier garland that I was like, oh, I wanna use this because it had like little pine cones and stuff on there. But I was also on a budget. I did all this for 60 bucks. Um, so I did not want to go over 60 to 80 bucks, roughly, because I did have to go buy some more of that um, garland. I got the garland on sale 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So it was like five bucks a strand of garland. Um, the, the wood was like $12 for the four by four. I think it was like five or seven bucks for the four, uh, two by four. The L brackets were two something or three something a piece. The screws, a dollar or two um, for the screws. And the large bolt was like two or three dollars. Um, and that was it. I bought some, I already had some string lights. I bought those last year, they were brand new. So I just wrapped my string lights around them and then I started to decorate it with my usual ornaments. So instead of my Christmas tree, we decorated our Christmas cross tree, which is now our new tree. I wanted to buy some small trees to go around it, like different tier tiny trees to go around. I thought that would be cool, but I just didn't find it in my budget this year. So maybe next year I'll, um, I'll spruce it up and do some other things. Okay, so what did you think? I am excited. It turned out so well. I love my Christmas cross tree. <laughs> so excited. I had fun making this this uh, cross tree. It was it was actually so much easier than I thought it would be to put it together. I think once I had the dimensions right, the the base is one foot, twelve inches, 
for all four, then the L bracket is attached to the four by four. The four by four is, yes, seven, seven feet tall, for sure, seven feet tall. And then the two by four going across is four feet across. So it's a nice size Christmas tree. Um, and it came out, it came out so good. I'm so excited about this tree. I'm actually gonna use the same tree for Easter. And instead of decorating it, obviously, with Christmas ornaments, I might just keep it with just the white lights and the, um, the material that goes across. So Easter, if I do anything for Easter, <laughs> I'm showing my Easter tree. Um, again, inexpensive to make, easy to make. If you like this video, comment down below and let me know that you enjoyed this video. If you want any help making your cross tree, let me know. I will be glad to help. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, did you like this video? Do you like my other videos? Remember not only to like and comment, but also subscribe to my channel.